東京メトロをご利用くださいましてありがとうございました。Hey guys, welcome back to another travel vlog. So, today I'm in Tokyo and I just arrived at the hotel. I'm here by myself, not for concerts, not anything like that. I'm literally here to do solo traveling for a few days and then my mother will join me here in Japan. But I will take you along here in Tokyo for what I'm up to, etc. I feel like traveling alone. Is something that is not done very often and it is kind of weird sometimes to hang out by yourself but I do feel like I learn a lot about myself when I do that so I'm glad that coincidence had it that I was able to come here a bit earlier and to eat my way through Tokyo because let's be real food is a top priority so <laughs> anyways I'm staying in the Minato city area in the Tokyo state and for Tokyo it is a very decent sized room actually so let me show you you just Walk into the room, and as I said, for Tokyo, it's not a bad size. Also, the bed is really big, actually. I was surprised. Glamorous view of a wall, <laughs> and the bathroom is really decent sized as well. Got the classic, super deep Japanese bathtub and the tiniest trash can that I've ever seen. Anyways, enough rambling, let's go explore the city. Okay, so here's the deal in Japan. People don't really talk loudly on trains or in public, and so me vlogging is kind of obnoxious and, dare I say, disrespectful. So that's not going to happen too often. We are on our way to Harajuku right now. I'm especially excited for the Meiji Jingu Shrine. I actually could not decide what to do today, so I asked you guys on Instagram. You guys voted to go to that area, so let's go. They have so many mochis here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Delicious flavors. Apparently, this one I've never seen before. This is like an edamame but sweet. Black sesame. And I got this one because it's a classic. And this is basically sugar soy sauce glaze. It's delicious. Can't wait to try. All right, and here we are. This is the entrance to the Meiji Jingu Shrine. It's massive. So many people here as well. Wow. So we walked through the park and now we're going to be washing our hands. You grab one of these and you grab a bit of water. And you will rinse your hands over over this place. And that's just so you can prepare to go to the temple. We have arrived. It's so beautiful. Everything is so detailed and so informative as well. There are a lot of signs where you can read up on what happened. Oh wow, it was so beautiful. Um, but is it just me or does nature in Japan just remind me so much of Ghibli movies? It's as if any second there could be a Totoro jumping out of the bushes. But I've had enough of this quiet calmness. So I'm on my way to Harajuku and to Takeshita Street, which is the famous street in Harajuku. If you didn't know, Harajuku is really known for its crazy fashion and shopping should be really good there. So let's have a look. I found an even more impressive gate. This is the biggest Tori gate of its style in Japan. It's really big. Oh my god, it's like 12 meters tall. In Japan, you will find many face masks, even ones that make you look like babies, literally. That's how they advertise their face masks here. <laughs> All 
Alrighty, so I'm back home and my foot really hurts So I came home earlier than I thought I would Today was a beautiful day The sun was so hot I really wish I brought summery clothes But that's alright because I went to Harajuku So in Harajuku I got a little bit carried away But not too bad Today I think I'll just edit a little bit I'm so jet lagged It's definitely time to sleep Good morning guys, it is the next day. It is freaking rainy here in Tokyo, hence wearing bucket hats now. I'm aware, it looks really funny. I don't know, I just really wanted one yesterday. Anyways, it's rainy as hell, so we are going to be changing our plans. I wanted to originally go see the Imperial Palace today, but because it's so rainy, I figured it's gonna be more fun to go to the Metropolitan Museum because I wanted to go there anyways. They have a Gustav Klimt exhibition right now and I really want to see that. I've never seen a Klimt in person. So yeah, let's go. I love it. I'm at Muji right now and Muji in Japan has lots of food options so behind me you can see the food aisle and it goes all around the Muji is so big so you have normal stuff like candy pecans and stuff like that but then you also have sweet and sour squid or white chocolate strawberry and over here you have all sorts of ready packed meals I think you literally have, just have to heat it up and put it over rice something that I love is this instant roasted green tea latte you only have to pour in water but since there's milk powder or something like that in it it comes out like a milk tea Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the first part of my Tokyo vlog. This was quite an abrupt ending because stay tuned for the second part. It's longer, it's better because there's more food and more friends in it. So I cannot wait for you to see that. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.